All right, so sorry about that, but I'm just trying to keep them so they're not, the videos so they're not super, super long. But um, yeah, and I want to make sure that we have time to go through this next couple pages without like rushing. So posture for work and play. You probably don't think about using correct posture while you ride your bike or play a game. You may not concentrate on keeping your back straight if you help your mother wash dishes or help your dad wash the car. Correct posture is important in whatever you are doing. Much of your work and play involves bending, pushing, pulling, and lifting. Poor posture can make you tire easily or it can hurt your back. When good posture becomes a habit, you will find that you practice it without having to think about it. So you've got to practice those good posture parts because then you can do it without thinking about it. Makes it a lot easier. Bending correctly. If you are playing a game on the floor, and I'm going to bring you down with me because this is what I would do in the classroom anyway. Um, so if you are playing a game on the floor, you should keep your back straight whenever you are, um, whenever you bend over. So we're doing a lot of games now. Sorry. We're doing a lot of games now um, because we're home. We're doing puzzles. We're doing um, uh, Monopoly. We're doing all of these different kinds of games. I saw this um, Zoe and her family doing, I think it was Monopoly. Um, I've seen some others of you playing games. So when you are sitting either at the table, but if you're on the floor and you're playing a game or doing a puzzle, you still need to be keep your back straight when you bend over. Don't hunch over while you're doing that. Keep your back straight. Kneel close to the game and bend forward at your hips. So you get, you know, bend forward from your hips. Get close to the game, but keep your back straight, okay? Practice this by sitting in a circle with your friends. Roll a ball back and forth. So we don't have, well, we do have friends, but they're here in that world there somewhere. Um, so do it with your family, but roll a ball to each other. Are you keeping your back straight and bending at your hips or are you curving your back to reach the ball? So if that ball is coming back and forth to you, you're still keeping your back straight. Okay. Don't hunch over. Oh, here you go. Here's the, no, you keep your back, bend at your hips, get the ball and then roll the ball. You're, it's all done with your hips. Okay. Now, Canoeing and kayaking are fun. You use an oar to pull the water toward you if you want to go forward. Using, hey there, correct posture can allow you to do an activity such as canoeing longer because it will keep you from getting tired too quickly. If you pull something while standing, bend at the knees, place one foot in front of the other, and step backwards. So this is like when you're doing like tug of war. Um, when you're doing like a tug of war, you are, um, and you're pulling, you shouldn't be pulling like this. Ugh. No, you have one foot in the front and one foot in the back. And when you're pulling, you step back and you pull stepping backwards. And you look at my, my back, what is it? It's straight, okay? And my thighs are doing the work. I can feel it right here in my thighs when I'm doing that. Instead of using my back to pull, and then I pull, oh, 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 I broke my back, okay? I'm gonna be bending one leg in the front, one leg in the back, and then pull. And that gives you, and step backwards, that gives you a lot more power because your legs, those thighs are powerful things. And when you use those muscles in your thighs and your leg muscles and your arm muscles, that's going to give you a lot more strength, okay? So instead of pulling from your back, pull with your arms and legs to keep your back um, from hurting so you won't hurt your back. And that's an important thing. So think that through. One leg in front, one leg behind and step backwards and pull with your strong leg and arm muscles. Technology tip. <laughs> this one makes me laugh because this is all that our life is right now. Looking at a tablet or cell phone for too long can cause you to have bad posture. Many people will find themselves slouching over a handheld device. Remember to bend with your head 
not your back. So while you are, you know, on your phone or on the tablet or whatever, try not to keep hunched over because a lot of, they're noticing a lot of people are starting to get that bad posture because we're just always hunched over. So do your head, not your whole back. Allow yourself only a short amount of time each day for your tablet. Healthy bodies need sunshine and fresh air and that's why we gotta get outside as much as we possibly can. That's very important. Pushing correctly. Do you help vacuum the floor? Do not let your body slump forward. And I know some of you probably saw as um, I was down on the floor, you're like, what is that, that Miss Monroe? I see something that she's, that's in the way. Well, I brought out my vacuum cleaner. And so when you are using your vacuum cleaner, I'm still not gonna be able to show it that well. One of the things that we have to be careful about is that we aren't doing this. We're not slumping forward, okay? Make sure that you're not, you should still keep your back straight when you are vacuuming your house. Your back should stay straight. So you're not slouching and then coming back and slouching, you are here. Again, push with your legs and arms and not with your back, okay? So do not let your back slump forward Lean with your body in a straight line from your head to the heel of your back foot. So there should be a straight line from here down to my back foot. And then you can use your arm and leg muscles to push. Do you push your friend on the swings at the park? Not right now we don't, but push with your arm and leg muscles and not with your back. Many times we're like, oh, push them and then back and then push them. Don't do it with your back. That's not helpful. You need to do it with your leg and arm muscles, okay? Now, lifting correctly. If you lift heavy objects with your back muscles instead of your strong leg and arm muscles, you can strain or hurt the muscles in your lower back. Whenever you lift an object, instead of bending from your waist, Keep your back straight and bend your knees. Get a good grip on the object before you start to lift it. As you lift, be sure that the object is close to your body and that your back is straight. If an object is very heavy, always ask an adult to help you and don't try to do it on your own. All right, so I'm going to move this for a second. And kind of give you a little, I like to kind of, um, you know, do so that you can see what we're talking about. So I think I'm going to put this down again. It's, I don't know if that's, well, I guess so. Oh, there's lady. So what it's saying is that when you're picking up something heavy, instead of just bending over and grabbing it and picking it up, that's not good for your back. So what you need to do is to get down, bend down, get a good grip on it, keep your back straight. Yeah, thanks. And then keep it close to your body and lift. So that way you're not, it's, don't let it go in front of you, you know, and, but you get down, keep your back straight as you're down, grip it, hold it close to you, lift it up, and then I got my exercise in today. I'm getting my squats in. You guys should be doing this too, okay? So practice that. It, you get down, keep your back straight, bend at your knees, and then carry it close, keep it close to your body as you're doing that. Wow, you guys got all kinds of sights today, I guess. But then we have our comprehension check. It's a short one, so I'll just go through it really, really with you really quickly. Um, true or false? If sorry, I'm out of breath from doing my little spots. Um, if you are standing correctly, your ears, shoulders, waist, knees, and ankles will be in a straight line. That is correct. You are. It is true. Shoes that are tight make it easy to walk correctly. <clears throat> right? They make it hard to walk 
that would be false. When your shoes aren't fitting properly, we don't walk properly. Um, and some of you have seen the little, you know, the littles, sometimes they have their shoes on the wrong feet and they're kind of walking kind of funny. But that's why if your shoes are not fitting correctly, your feet are not going to be able to walk correctly. Um, you can improve your posture with practice. Obviously, that is true. Then, um, step number four, bend at the knees, place one foot in front of the other and step backwards when what? When you are pulling, very good. Lean forward with your body in a straight line from head to heel when you're pushing like the vacuum, okay? When we're pulling, we're leaning back and stepping backwards. When we're pushing, we lean forward but our body should be in a straight line from heel, shoulder to head, to, from head to heel, okay? And then keep your back straight and bend your knees, obviously, when lifting, letter A. So B, C, and then A. All right, well, I hope that you guys learned some things with your health. Proper posture is very, very important, and we'll be talking some more about our bodies and our um exercising them and taking good care of them tomorrow so good job today i'll be back i think with a spelling and of course reading afterwards but good job keep working hard make me proud